Hey guys, how's it going? It's IG Cat back here with a brand new video for today and we are doing another vlog today. I've had the honor of receiving an invitation from VidCon Connect, so I'm going to a very special event today and yeah, I'm very, very excited to be going to this uh, creator meetup. They've only selected a very few amount of uh, listed people who have bought tickets for VidCon, so I'm very, very honored to receive the the privilege to go to this VidCon Connect event as exclusively in Toronto so it's a it's a one day event it's a literally right in the afternoon so I, I have the absolute honor of attending this event and I'm really glad to, to attend it so um, um, very 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 few people get to, to attend this event so it's like it's like an honor to receive this so yeah we're gonna get on our way to Toronto to get to this uh, crazy crazy event and then yeah we'll just do some shopping and some vlogging and stuff like that and yeah it's just gonna be a super super duper fun day and I can't wait to meet all of the creators that are there um the person from asap science is there um i don't know what his name is i can't remember but you know uh, i'll put a picture on the screen of his face you, you'll know who i'm talking about and the icing artist is also there i've heard that miranda sings might also be there too so i don't know um i'm not entirely sure who's going to be there but i can't wait to meet everybody oh so, yeah let's get on our way here because i'm going to be late and uh, i don't want to be late so yeah let's get moving here Jesus Christ, did it ever take me a long time to get here. I not understand why it took so long. The traffic was awful. Um, I'm here now. I know the lighting is awful. I'm going to go over here. It's a bit better so I can talk. Um, I tried to get down to District 28 where I was supposed to be for VidCon. But uh, my events don't start until 7. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to take an Uber down there. Because I couldn't find anywhere to park while I was down there. So... I think that's the game plan because I'm just going to stay parked here in the Eaton Center so because I think that just works out a little bit better for me because then I won't have to fight my way all the way down there in the hopes that you know or in the hopes that there might be a parking spot available uh, it just makes better sense for me to just take an Uber down there then that way I don't have to worry about parking I can just stay here and then come back here um, this is also a really nice Mercedes I am loving it it is a very nice Mercedes Benz it's a GLC like my dream so, uh, shout out to the person that has this Mercedes because it is beautiful. I'm gonna go get something to eat because I am starving. I need to pee and I need to do all of those things because I've been in the car for two hours. So, yeah, let's, um, let's go find something to eat. I'm so hungry. So, I got a spicy habanero chicken burger and fries and a Coke from a and w and I don't know what time I'm going to head to the district in Toronto, but I'm not really too sure. I'm just starving, so I'm starving my face. Yeah, I'm probably going to head around down there around probably 6, is what I'm thinking, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to eat my lunch, because I'm or my dinner now, because it's like 5. So, yeah, I am going to do that, and then we'll do something else. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. So I just had something to eat. I'm not really too sure what else I'm going to do. Um, I can't go down to the District 28 until 7 o'clock, so I'll probably leave around here around 6. I've eaten, I've done a little bit of shopping, so I'm not really sure what else I can do. I've been in this mall so many times, so that's the problem. You see, like, I already know everything, I've already seen everything, so I'm trying not to run into anybody. So, yeah. So I'm going to head down to the VidCon event because I was actually mistiming. Um, I thought it was 7 to 11 p.m. It's actually 3 to 7 p.m. So they changed the schedule on me. So it's currently 5.54 right now. I'm just getting myself an Uber as we speak. So I'm going to get in the Uber and get my ass down there because I didn't realize it started now because I didn't check the schedule the day before, which I should have done because now I've just lost out on a ton of greater meetups. But, however, I'm still going to go and meet maybe a couple people, so we'll see what happens. So, yeah, I'm going to head down there and not waste any more time because literally I've missed three quarters of this event. So, it's not surprising. I seem to miss a lot of things in life, <laughs> including the most important that I like actually going to. So, yeah, I'm going to stop yip yapping and get my Uber and then get going. Come on, i got to get going. I'm a very busy, busy person. Here at 
Big Kong, but I'm not really sure. Hi. Hi. Um, I have a Big Kong, uh, like, pass, like an email pass. Like, where do I go for that? This lady was sitting right over here. There. Is that over? Do you have it? No. Well, I have... She will come back to that desk if you want to wait there. Okay. So guys, I took my Uber, got all the way down here, spent like 15 bucks on the Uber to get all the way here, and the event is over. I'm very upset that I didn't get to go to the event because unfortunately I got a, a bit confused with the scheduling of what happened because they sent me an email saying that it was 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. when unfortunately it was not 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. because that seems a little bit too late now that I think about it because when I checked the um, the listings on online the uh, <laughs> the timings and the events were completely different from what the email said, stating it. I can even prove it too, but I it's no point. Like <sighs> I couldn't even get, like they offered me a drink and everything. They're like, they're like do you wanna do you wanna sit down, chill, have a drink? I was like, yeah, I'd love to, but I gotta drive. So the sun is so bright. Oh my gosh, I feel like my eyes are scorching. I just gonna... I'm trying to find my sunglasses. Oh, it's like 21 degrees right now. This sucker's on. Okay, now I can continue talking about what I was doing. So um, basically, I went to the the Vicon event, and then I ended up going all that way. And uh, yeah, the timing was actually incorrect. So they they said it was supposed to be. It said in the email that I received from Vicon that it was 7 p.m. to 11 p.m when in fact there was actually different events which I didn't realize because they never told me about those different events that I was supposed to attend. And the actual creator meetup and stuff actually took place at 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. But I didn't realize that, so I missed it. It's currently like 6.35 right now, so I was there less than 10 minutes ago and they told me sorry we're wrapping it up now we can't let you in and then they felt bad for me so like oh do you want to have a drink with us and do all this stuff and I was like yeah I would love to but I gotta drive so uh, I was a little bit mad about that but what can what can I do like there's not really much that I can do other than that but you know, to be honest with you I'm not really bothered anyways because I am going to the VidCon in Los Angeles, so it doesn't really matter where, um, like, it, it doesn't really matter if I go to that event or not. It was kind of just an extra anyway, so, <sighs> I don't know. Um, yeah, the lighting is going to get really bad now because I'm walking into a tunnel, so, um, yeah, if the lighting's bad enough, I can take my, I can take my sunglasses off. Can you believe it? I got these pair of sunglasses for $35 and they were from Nordstrom. Like, can you believe it? Like, everything in there is usually like $5,000, but you know, these were actually pretty fucking cheap, so I'm really, really happy about that. That's the one good thing that's gone right in my day. I didn't tell you how much of a pain in the ass it was here to get here and get downtown and get to the Eaton Center. So, um, yeah, the traffic was so bad to the point that I literally wanted to rip my hair out, so... Oh, the sun's bright again, I'm gonna stick my sunglasses on. Especially on the Don Valley, it was moving really slowly, but not really a surprise there because it's kind of always bad anyways. Like, the traffic on Young Street, like, we were just crawling and it was just taking forever to get where I needed to be, so... I was a little bit mad about that, but, um... Other than that, though, what can I do? It's not really anything else that's happened in this day, uh... I literally got here, went to the Eaton Center, took my Uber to go to here, I got disappointed, and now I'm just walking back to wherever because I parked my car at the Eaton Center because I didn't want to risk driving here and then my car getting towed because I didn't know any of the laws and the rules about parking here, so I don't want to risk it. My car is safe there, I'm paying parking for it to be there, so, you know, the only thing I'm going to get charged for is the daily maximum there, so... I'd rather just leave it there and take Ubers where I need to go because then that way I'm playing it safe with parking. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Jesus Christ, it's like 5,000 degrees out. I don't know what else we're going to do, but uh, we'll figure that one out, I'm sure. Guys, look at this mini. It's so freaking cool. I actually like the grill of it. I love the color too. It's like a really nice bold green, but it's also kind of like 
almost kind of like I don't know like it's a nice green but it's also kind of a bluish when it's in the sun too but super super nice I've wanted a mini for such a long time I don't know it's not my car of a choice per se it's not like my favorite car like if I had like the chance to pick my dream car let me tell you oh I got a duck there's a ton of bushes everywhere but yeah, if I had the opportunity to choose my dream car, it would probably be something he just screamed in the background. I don't know entirely, but uh, yeah, I can't edit that out, so let's live with it. Guys, let me tell you something. I would never get tired of this view. Not one bit. Have I ever told you that I wanted to live in Toronto and I've always wanted to live in Toronto? Like, I wouldn't mind waking up to that. I just flipped the viewfinder. I look like such a freak. <laughs> Heading back to the Eaton Center now, as you probably already knew this. But um, are you guys zoomed in too much? That's better. It's a little bit more wide angle. But um, yeah, I'm heading back to the Eaton Center because I uh, initially screwed up really badly. So you probably already know because I've told this like 50,000 times. But I'm too cheap. <laughs> Knowing me, I spend money on the most ridiculous, extravagant things. I'm too cheap to spend $8 to get back to the Eaton Center for an Uber. So I'm walking an hour. What sense does this make? But if I could save eight bucks, I feel like it's a win in my book for some reason. I don't know why. There's a lot of traffic and I'm kind of worried. Like, look at this. This is like 7 o'clock rush hour traffic. I hope I don't die by, like, a car or something. I hope I don't get killed by a car or something crazy like that. So, let's cycle like, like, excuse me. Like, I don't want to get hit by a car. Like, how rude. Like, yeah, I can't walk past there. <laughs> I just need to get over there. I need to get right in there. Right in the core. Guys, like, look at some of this art that people do and draw. Like, isn't it kind of weird? Like... Oh my god. It's such a nice day for a walk. It's so quiet out. It's the perfect temperature. The sun's just starting to set and it's just such a beautiful breeze too. And like it's just such a nice day to go for a walk in Toronto. I just really like it. So I'm really enjoying this walk actually. I'm glad I didn't take the Uber. I was originally just doing it because I was cheap, but now I'm doing it because I actually really like the walk. So I made it back to the Eaton Center. It probably took me about an hour and 10 minutes to walk all this way. Which wasn't bad because it was a really nice walk and it was warm outside. So I really didn't feel like an hour and 10 minutes. The time went by really, really fast. So yeah, I'm gonna do maybe a bit more shopping and then I'm gonna end up passing by Foot Locker and I did pick up something because I didn't wanna go home empty handed. I came all this way, I was disappointed. I didn't get to go to my event and meet any creators. So I went to get something, so I didn't go home empty handed. So I went to the Nike store and I picked up a t-shirt that I really like and yeah. I'm not really sure what else I'm going to do. I'm probably going to go get a Starbucks or something because I got like a two hour drive and I need some coffee because I can't function without coffee and I haven't even, I haven't even had a cup of coffee today. Like that's incredible for me. Like I usually have two cups by now. So the fact that I've gone this whole day without one cup of coffee is amazing. Can I go for a grande size of the lemon iced tea please? Yeah. Do you want to try those raspberry? It's like really good with the passion it's free okay yeah i'll have yeah, that yeah sounds good can i grab your name jack debit please thanks, jack. thanks. Alrighty, so I think that's it for me today, everybody. I hope you guys did enjoy this crazy vlog. As you can tell, I'm a pretty bit tired. So, yeah. Um, hmm. I don't know what else to say, really. I am tired. I'm exhausted. So, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. I really appreciate it. I always like seeing people positively like these videos. So, yeah. That's it my dudes, see you next week, until then, bye guys.